the first 29 cops took place in one reality. A reality where we strive to avoid crossing Earth's limits. In Belém, we have the first COP to take place in a new reality. The first where we can be sure that we will cross limits. We will soon exceed warming of 1.5 degrees. We will further damage countries, economies, and the lives of millions of people. And the speed of change will accelerate until it becomes unstoppable. On the current path, many of Earth's systems will pass tipping points. One-way doors of irreversible, self-amplifying change. As one accelerates, it helps tip another, which fuels another. But there remains a brief window of hope right now where we can push the systems that drive this change in the opposite direction. We can harness positive tipping points, taking us from breakdown to breakthrough. And they are closer than we think. Solar power is now so affordable it has passed a tipping point that will make it the world's dominant energy source And this positive tipping point triggers others. It has helped electric vehicles reach their own tipping point in major markets. And the more EVs take over, the further the price of batteries fall. The cheaper batteries, in turn, make renewable energy supply match demand. Right here in the Amazon, Tipping points can go in either direction. If we end deforestation, then we create the conditions to start regenerating the forest. As the forest regrows, the moisture level rises, helping suppress fires, enabling further regrowth. And so the cycle continues, demonstrating the value of healthy, sustainable livelihoods and supply chains, and supporting a thriving economy. <laughs> and as the people of the world experience these benefits, we can together trigger the most important positive tipping point of all. When the global story of climate change moves from fear to action, from chaos to stability, and from tipping into danger to accelerating out of it. <laughs>